is most impressive. The most important thing to remember about this experiment is the flask must be scrupulously clean if we are to get a good silver mirror. The best procedure, we add to this a drop at a time some 880 ammonia. We get a brown precipitate first, which on adding more ammonia will eventually re-dissolve to give a plate 80 ammonia. Again we get a brown precipitate of silver oxide and we add more 880 ammonia to, to this a drop at a time. Again until the precipitate re-dissolves to give a clear solution. Into the flask we're going to silver. And add to it 12 cubic centimetres of 0.25 moles per cubic decimetre glucose solution. Glucose is a reducing sugar and will reduce the silver ions to metallic silver. The solution will start to go brown or grey and at this point it's important to keep moving the solution around the flask so that the whole of the inside of the flask is constantly being wetted. Over a period of a couple of minutes a silver mirror will begin to form on the inside of the flask. stress it's vital to keep the solution moving around so that the whole of the inside of the flask is exposed to the silvering solution. The chemistry of this process was actually used in the past to form the silver coating on mirrors looking glasses. A giant Christmas tree decoration. When you finish this demonstration, it's important to dispose of the